Welcome back to Desktop Minis. Today we are slap chopping or attempting to slap chop a Space Marine. Now I have done a little bit of research on this, watching a few videos, and some people have said that it's not a great idea to try to slap chop a Marine because of all the flat surfaces. But other people said, well, if you're careful, it does work. So I thought I'd give it a go. So as always, we've put a base coat of Chaos Black on this, and then we're putting our first layer of dry brushing on with a, I'm using a, a makeup brush and I'm using Celestra Grey. And you wanna go over it as even as possible, try and dry brush it in a circular motion and that gets rid of any lateral lines. It gets rid of any like brush strokes on the model itself. Trying to get in all the nooks and crannies, the crevices, but leaving the deep parts of the model as black as possible and just trying to hit the surfaces, you know, the high points, the raised area of the model. So once that's done, let it dry. And then we're gonna go over it again with Corax White. Slightly drier, slightly less pressure, as you can just see, to raise those really extreme surfaces of the model. The elbows, the tops of the sword, tops of the engine, or power pack, whatever you want to call it. I don't know the proper terminology for this stuff. And uh, just trying to keep it as, as, you know, as light as possible, just to highlight the real extreme raised areas. So far, I'm quite happy. So far, so good. But in the back of my mind, I'm still thinking, this really could go quite pear-shaped. This is a model that my eight-year-old son had built, so there are some mold lines and things like that, but I'm, I'm really not too fussed. I'm just curious, does slap chop work? So we're going to hit this with some blue. We'll go over all the armor with the blue, just trying to keep it as even as possible. As I say, I was, I'm was i more concerned about, can I slap chop a Space Marine? Um, it does have a lot of flat surfaces. There is a lot of detail, but, you know, it's not as sculpted as, let's say, uh, an orc. I love painting orcs. They're amazing. But, um, yeah, the idea was if I can do this and it looks decent, then I can uh, carry on painting more Space Marines and try to perfect them, you know, as best I can with my level of expertise and techniques and make them as look as good, make them, excuse me, look as good as possible. It does look a bit blocky. I wasn't too fussed about highlighting as much as possible. Um, but I'm, I'm, I think the blue looks really good. Uh, it was a one coat job. I don't know. I don't think it would benefit for two coats. I'm not too sure. Probably not, in my opinion. Um, especially with what I was trying to do. But um, yeah, I'm going in there trying to be as careful as possible. Not to uh, cause any problems for myself in the future. But so far, I really like the color. It looks pretty good. I think it, the slap chop method gives you a lot more texture, even on flat surfaces. These bold blocky colors, you know, you've really got to, in my opinion anyway, you've really got to start to um, edge highlight and create contours and contrast by hand. And yeah, I haven't got the patience or the skill to do that. So yeah, I'm just hitting everything I can with the blue and thinking, you know, what can I highlight afterwards? Minimum effort. This is the whole point of Slap Chop is just like, can you just make it look good? That's That's all I was interested in. So I'm happy with the blue. Um, as you can see, I hit the sword a little bit there. And then we go in and I use Hive Dweller Purple. When I select it, there it is. So we use Hive Dweller Purple in all the um, the joints, you know, the soft areas between the arms, around the waist, back of the knees, that sort of stuff, just to give a little bit of color. But I also wanted to make it quite dark in all the flexible areas. So we're gonna go over there and hit those, trying to be as careful as I possibly can. Um, I managed to do this model in about 50 minutes. It wasn't too bad. I am getting quicker. And I am making more of a conscious decision on what brush to use, because uh, I do have a nasty habit of just picking up a big thick brush and then realizing that um, actually I'm a bit ham-fisted and probably need to be A, a little bit more gentle and B, a little bit more selective with the brushes I use. As you can tell, I, uh, I've already hit the sword, but um, 
not too fast not too fast i just want this to look good um I, you know, I've reiterated it twice already. Just can I make this model look as good as I possibly can with Slap Chop? If yes, then I'll do it again. I'll spend more time on it. I'll make more of an effort on using different colors and highlights. But um, yeah, I quite like the purple in the in the little, you know, softer areas. It looks pretty good. That's all done. I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to go and hit the engines with Blood Red. No particular reason. I just wanted to... Um, you know, just give it that sort of fire look. That heat look, uh, again, just, you know, depending on the outcome of this, I could spend a bit more time on the engines, make them look a bit more like engines, make them look, you know, a bit more metallic, spend a bit more time on them, maybe do some fading, uh, use different types of wash on it. But yeah, I wasn't really that fussed. I just wanted to get it done, see what it looked like. I don't know what I was thinking here. But those four little engines at the bottom, I don't know what you would, maybe exhausts. I started to poke them in and then just went and painted them red. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was like, okay, let's just roll with it and see what happens. But um, yeah, so far so good. So that's the sword and the gun done in black. And then I go and use Zealot Yellow on the chest crest. There is a an Aquila. That's it. The Aquila. I use Zealot Yellow on there. Um, being, again, as careful as I can. Um, I probably should have used a smaller brush here, but it worked out all right. Only because of the fluidity of the the wash, the um, contrast paint. You know, uh, you can see I'm trying to decide what to do here. Um, not really sure what to do to execute minimum effort, but make it look as good as possible so yeah do the aquila i think i did the uh the skull on the plate and um a couple of other bits in that zealot yellow but uh we'll fast forward and it um doesn't look too bad so we go back and i decided to do those engines in the in the black the grim black just to get them done i do put a little bit of a a highlight on it afterwards like a, a mix of colors just to try and separate the different colors but yeah i wasn't too fussed uh do those fins in black as well not entirely sure what they're called but um they're a nice little detail going away from the contrast paints i used retributor armor on the skull highlight on the aquila uh the skull that's on the shield slash i don't know what you call it badge maybe and uh, on the eyes just to give it a bit of a different color not quite used to this youtube filming at the moment you can tell i'm um still getting used to it still learning a lot of things you know this this model does slightly drift off camera just because i'm focusing on painting the model as opposed to shooting the video um but yeah a, a little mix of base paint now coming in um just to separate some of the parts from the contrast colors so far i'm really happy with it it does look quite good and um i will chuck up some photos when this is done of uh, of what it looked like when it was finished so caribou crimson i'm using um back to the contrast paint just touching up some little bits on the eyes highlighting those eyes i wanted them to be a red but not like a bright red um could have been better sure using a, a thinner brush this time learning from my mistakes and trying to darken up those exhausts and engines um realizing that that red wasn't really working so i was just like okay well how can i just make it in, you know improve it just a little bit again i'm not too fussed about the outcome this isn't to make the model exhibition ready not really sure what i was doing on those exhausts but just trying to complete the model as quick as i could making it look as good as i could so i made this video to answer one question and that is can you slap chop a space marine and make it look good and honestly i think the answer is yes i think with my limited skill set and my limited experience in painting models i think it looks really good here's a couple of pictures i put up on my instagram page but um, i'm definitely going to another one make a little bit more of an effort you know make use of some more highlights spend a bit more time on it and it'll look a lot better than this one as you, you know 
you look at the back and you think, what the hell's happened to that? But yes, you can paint a Space Marine with a slap shot method. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.